Hey there, what's up everyone? This is Chris back with the Beamer Barn, and in today's episode, we're gonna be doing one of the arguably best suspension mods on my E92-335i, and that is we're gonna be installing some PowerFlex bushings on the front of the car here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have on the table, and I'll show you guys why this is one of the best suspension upgrades you can do. So here we have two different polyurethane bushing kits from PowerFlex. We have the front control arm bushings and we have the front tension arm bushings, I guess they're called. It says here track control arm, so the front track control arms. Now, both of these bushings on my car, I believe to be worn. I definitely know that the front control arm bushings are shot, uh, but I wanted to grab these as well because I wanted to do the full front end in polyurethane. And this is actually their harder polyurethane. This is the black series. I've installed their bushings on my cars all all the time. The last time we installed some PowerFlex bushings was actually on my E39 M5 wagon, but today we're going to show the E92 335i some love. Now one of the reasons these things are so great is because they won't wear down the same as a traditional rubber bushing. They also provide less deflection, uh, but you still have the advantage of not going to a full solid control arm, and that means that you're going to get some level of uh, noise and vibration dampening from the polyurethane here. So they also make a bushing in a purple compound and that would be a little bit softer, more comparable to like a rubber feeling bushing. And those are a great option as well, you know, if you wanna make sure that you get as close to an OEM feel as possible. Now, one thing about these bushings that I like as well is that they don't have to use any preload like a traditional rubber bushing because these uh, are like a two parts. So these machined steel dowels, stainless steel, I believe it is, goes into the middle of the bushing and you have a little bit of silicone that you can use to help get that in there and also prevents it from squeaking or making any noise in the future. But essentially, once you tighten down the bolt that holds the bushing in place, it's only holding the dowel in place, whereas the bushing is free to move around. So you don't have to worry about preloading your bushings anymore and any of the unnecessary wear that comes along with rubber bushings. So I'm really happy. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the front control arms off of the car. I'm going to show you how we get those off. And then we're going to get them on the bench here and we're going to use our special bushing tool in order to get the old bushings out and then we'll be able to press these new ones in. So let's get straight to work. So there you go, we have our old lower control arm off and look at just how much damage there is to this bushing. What's happening is that the dowel inside of the rubber here is just pushing itself out of uh, the rubber bushing. So it's completely separated almost and uh, that's gonna cause some weird handling characteristics, some play side to side. And that's why we're doing this replacement now because there's gonna be nothing that lasts longer than replacing that rubber with aluminum bushing with this steel bushing here and then this polyurethane which isn't gonna dry up like the rubber would. Now I said that this was steel I think but I just wanna grab my magnet here and test it out. It may not be 100% steel but it definitely is magnetic, so it's not just aluminum, and uh, definitely is, it has some weight to it, I'll tell you that. So this is some strong metal here. So now what we have to do is press out this old bushing. Now luckily I have the perfect tool for this. Let's go ahead and grab that bushing toolkit that I've used in a couple of different videos, and we're gonna see if we have the right size cups to put on this bushing here and press it out, and then hopefully we'll be able to press in this new one really easy. So here's the setup. I got the correct size dowel, threaded dowel here for the bushing because you want it to slide through easily. And then we had to get the two cups 
Uh, so one of them has to be big enough to go around the outside, or essentially this bushing, uh, but not touch the inner bushing. And then one of them has to be touching the outer race of the bushing, but small enough that it's gonna fit through the hole here for the arm. So those are the two cups that I have. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna set this up really quick for you. Um, we'll take the smaller one and put it here. And it even has this little slit here so you can see the bushing move through. Then we're gonna grab our arm and I'm gonna put it that side down. So it's gonna push that bushing up into this, to this cup. And then we'll get our nut and drop it. And we're gonna thread this all the way down. All you need is a 21 millimeter and I've got my vice grip holding the bottom nut here. But as we tighten this down, it's gonna squeeze this bushing up into the uh, the upper cup here and this nut is gonna squeeze everything together. So let me go ahead and show you guys how that works and hopefully this goes smoothly. So that was pretty easy. You can see the rod is right here and we have everything back laid out and now our old bushing is pressed out really cleanly from the old control arm. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and reassemble the setup here but now we're going to put our new bushing in place and we're going to press this in. Now what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to put a little bit of that silicone grease on the edge here so that it'll go in nice and smooth. Hopefully it'll go in straight. And then uh, we'll use a little bit of silicone as well to get the inner race in there. Look at that, bushing successfully installed. Now all we have to do is grab the uh, little inner race here and I'm gonna make sure that this is oriented correctly so I know that the longer end is supposed to point forward. This is our passenger side arm. So we're gonna put it in just like this. I'm gonna hammer this in place and then we'll be good to install it back inside the car. So we've got the rear lower control arm installed and it was a little tricky, but once we got it in, we were able to tap it in the rest of the way and then install the other side on the knuckle and then we're good to go. So now I'm gonna pull off the front control arm and I'm gonna show you guys how we can replace that bushing as well. And then in a second, we'll soon have this car on the ground driving around and I'll be able to give you guys some impressions with all the new service that we just did on the oil pan and the turbo rebuild and all that other stuff. So let's go ahead and pull that control arm off.
this tool has once again earned its spot in our garage. I'm really happy that we were able to get those bushings installed nice and easy. And for anyone who wants a really good bushing kit, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to this one in the description below. That way, if you need something that's nice to do any sorts of bushings, I've used this on my differential so far, control arm bushings, a lot of different stuff. It's really versatile. And with all these cups and all the sizes here, you can get a lot of different bushing. All right, so we've got our new bushings installed. Now what I'm gonna do before we get the car on the ground is I'm gonna go ahead and pull off these coilovers that are currently installed. One of them is completely blown and I'll show you guys that here. But we're gonna go ahead and replace them with some used factory struts because I think they're gonna give us a better ride than these blown ones. So let's go ahead and do that now and then we're finally gonna put the wheels on and take this car for a drive. So with the magic of editing, we're already done. The front struts are installed. All of our PowerFlex control arm bushings are installed as well. Now we're just on a test drive. Uh, I also replaced the wheel speed sensors because three of them were bad before. And I just did a steering angle reset with my little iCarSoft tool here. And I'll tell you what, it's got no more lights on it. And the car starts up and sounds different as well. It sounds more healthy for sure. Like this, this feels like a totally different car. Now, I want to see too if this car is going to start blowing smoke in a second because I'll show you guys a quick clip here in the last video where we were driving the car. I came up to a stop sign and you just saw the smoke follow me. Now, one thing to think about too is that this transmission has adaptation. So I'm really excited to see if the turbo rebuild is doing well and we'll hopefully see that soon, I guess, when we don't see any smoke. So I'll just keep driving the car here. Uh, feels really nice in the front end. No more blown coilover. Feels like factory new in here. Definitely feels taller up though, I'll tell you that. The car feels like it's higher up in the air now, for sure. Everything is flying around in the back of the car. Oh man, yeah, it handles good. Oh no, something, something started dragging there for a second. So I don't have all of the undercovers on and the supports and stuff. So I did a quick little pull there and then something caught air and started dragging along the ground. Or whatever it is starts dragging above 50 miles an hour.
was that? This guy literally just ran the stop sign at full speed. What are you doing, bro? Literally, he just ran the stop sign down there. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, man, those turbos sound good. I don't know if it's just me, but I, I think those those sound different after the rebuild. They have more of like a jet engine noise uh, to them, like a more distinctive whistle. So that's gonna conclude our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me install the PowerFlex bushings on my E92-335i. I'm super happy with how they handle too on the car. I prefer the polyurethane bushings to the rubber ones because of how they feel. And obviously they, like I said, they produce a longer lifetime as well. That combined with the factory struts that we just installed and then all the service work that we just did, like the turbo rebuild, the oil pan service and everything else, this car is driving 110% now. A ton smoother than it was before and a ton better handling as well. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you leave a like down below, comment what you think of polyurethane bushings, and subscribe to the channel if you're new and you haven't yet. As always, I hope everyone has an awesome day, and we'll see you in the next video.